Let me show you how to make flying jack-o'-lanterns. You know, it's a lot of fun to carve jack-o'-lanterns. It's one of my favorite holidays, Halloween. And of course, the jack-o'-lantern, well, it's the symbol of Halloween. But why have a jack-o'-lantern just sitting around when you can have them flying around? Let me show you how to suspend a jack-o'-lantern where you can hang it from a trellis, a tree, or your porch, like a lantern, as in jack-o'-lantern. What you want to do is carve your jack-o'-lantern in the way you would like. Make it as spooky or as friendly as you like. Open up the lid. And what I want to do is pierce through here two holes where I can run a dowel. You can use a dowel like this. This would be the largest you'd want to use or something even smaller. Just something strong enough to suspend it. Or you can use some sticks if you want it to look really old fashioned and natural. And what I'm going to do is pierce this stick through the flesh of the pumpkin at about here and here. This stick will serve as the handle from which I can hang the jack-o'-lantern. So one of the best things to do is just use a cordless drill. I'm going to come down from the top of the pumpkin down to here, about two inches, and then I'm going to drill in like this. Over here, the same way. Then it's just a matter of taking your stick or your dowel and pushing it in and matching up on this side over here. Fat. Okay, now it's a matter of just making sure that our top still fits. It does. Everything's in good order. And now we attach the wire to the top to suspend it. And what I'm going to use here is just some steel galvanized wire. You can use any kind of wire you like. You could even use string or jute. Uh, but I'm going to wrap a piece of wire here on this side, like that. Of course, the thinner the wire, the better, because you want these to look like they're flying around above your head. So I'm thinking about like that looks good. So I'll mark that, get me a little length here. Cut it off, wrap the wire around here like this. Make sure it's secure. There we go. Put on the top. And as you can see, that'll hang nicely from a variety of places. One thing to think about is that these things will rotate around. I've often carved the backside of them too, because when you pop in the flame or some way to illuminate it. In this case, I'm using these little LED lights that fire up. They don't create any heat. You can drop two or three of those in here. And it'll give you all the illumination you want. And without having heat in here, your jack lantern will last a lot longer. Anyway, it's a fun idea. Give it a try. You'll be glad you did. And if you like this tip, share it with a friend and make sure you subscribe to eHow Home. All right, let's do another one.